I'm back here with another video. This is Eddie, and this is Eddie's Life. So today, I got a good package that came in. And I've been dying to try this thing out because there's a lot of good reviews on it, and everybody says it's pretty much badass. So, today we got the Gen Y Hitch. Towing made easy. Model number is not there. So I'll let you guys know uh, which one I got, but let's, uh, first of all, get it unboxed and see uh, what it looks like. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering why it's on the skateboard, well, because it was uh, over there uh, out of my gate because the gate was shut when the UPS came. And it's, they say it's about 120 pounds, so I just, you know, felt like putting it on the skateboard and rolling her down here. So, and no, I don't skateboard anymore, but I will admit they used to call me Tony Hawk. No, I'm lying. I sucked ass at it. But, you know, it was fun while it lasted. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. Partially open. All right, we're going to need a uh, knife or something. Oh, got our handy dandy uh, Dewalt cutter. Okay, it's zooming in. Sucks, obviously. All right, so let's start by oh, unboxing this thing. Okay, so after about uh, an hour taking all staples and crap out of here, what we got? We got foam. We got a hitch. That's what I call a hitch, folks. Okay. Oh shit! This is a heavy hitch. Okay, I'm gonna need both hands for this. Uh, one sec. Okay, well, first things first. This thing is freaking heavy. Somebody hits the back of my truck and hits this. Well, I'm gonna probably be sad because this thing is extremely expensive and it's probably gonna destroy their car. So let's open this bad boy up and I'll explain to you guys how this works. This thing is built extremely beefy. Thing is pretty crazy looking. So, what this hitch is supposed to do is this part, so pretty much this part attached to your truck, and obviously, you know, the ball is going to go here. Instead of your truck bouncing, this is supposed to move back and forth. So, this and this right here, they're supposed to move back and forth instead of your truck moving back and forth. Uh, I have never, you know, I did some research on it, didn't find a lot of things online about it, but there's a lot of good reviews, and one of my subscribers, Corey, actually told me to purchase this, so how I found it is through Corey. Uh, Corey, if you're watching this video, thank you. Here it is, it finally came in, so let's hook it onto the truck and uh, see, see how it does. And this also has a tongue weight, let me see if I can get that clear for you guys has a tongue weight, it says here, of 2,400 pounds. And this one is the, I got the 21K with the two and 5 16th ball. So here is the uh, before. Just your generic hitch, basically. And your after. You guys can see this thing is a beast. And yes, I did put on the skateboard and roll it out here. So let's take this apart. I love this set because it comes with everything to remove the hitch. If you guys are wondering, this does not fit on this gun without this adapter. So it's just a regular Milwaukee gun, uh, half inch with an adapter. All right, oh, we keep this. This thing is massive. All right, well, there you have it, guys. That is the uh, big monster hitch. Now let's go hook it up to the trailer and try it out.
happens while putting this thing down if we have any movement here. up exactly as if I'm going to the desert. So distribution bars and everything are going to be on. Looks like I'm going to have to get some longer chains over here. I don't have a lot of a lot of slack in this. I don't, I don't like that. Alright guys, let's uh, hit the road and see what happens. I got the GoPro mounted. Hopefully it doesn't fall off and you guys will be able to see uh, if it's moving or not. All right, so I'm gonna jump on the freeway here real quick and uh, see if I can notice a difference and if you guys can see a difference. Sorry if it's dark, guys. It's, I'm just trying to get this done real quick for you. But it is getting dark, so hopefully you guys can see uh, the GoPro footage in the back. saw it there it did not and I'm not gonna say it did not work but I think this is the problem when I ordered that hitch uh, we were the guy pretty much asked me the tongue weight how heavy is the tongue weight on my weekend warrior they say you're supposed to do I think it's anywhere between 10 to 15 pounds or 10 to 15 percent of the trailer so if the trailer is 8,000 pounds it should be 1,200 pounds of tongue weight and also with the weight distribution bars, it is supposed to take some of that tongue weight off. He sold me, and, and me and him were debating, and he told me it would work, uh, but as you guys saw, it did not work. It, it looked like, and you know, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but it looked like the part that was supposed to be moving, which was this part right here only, that should be moving, did not. Looked like the entire, pretty much, hitch was moving. And I think that the, the problem was because there's not enough tongue weight. So that hitch is rated for 1,700 pounds to 2,400 pounds. I just got off the phone with him. He's sending me another one that is going to be rated from 800 pounds to, I believe, 1,600 was the max. So I think that my trailer does not have enough tongue weight for that hitch to work properly. So I can't say anything bad, nor can I say anything good about it yet, because I, just as of right now, it didn't work good, and you guys saw it. And I can't, I can't say it was my fault, nor was it his fault. I just think that for these to perform, you shouldn't go to the biggest and the best. So pretty much I wanted the big, huge one, you know, the badass one, and he told me that it would work. Uh, he said it will make a difference. I didn't notice a difference at all, so that's why we're gonna try this new one that he's sending me. Uh, I won't have it till probably a couple days, so just be patient with me. I am going to set up a new one for you guys, and I will test it out again. But as of right now, that one, if you guys are interested in getting one of these hitches, I highly, highly recommend you guys making sure or, or just get an idea of how much tongue weight you have because if you do overload it or overkill it, as you can see there, it didn't perform, uh, nor did it work good for me. The whole entire hitch was moving. The part that was supposed to be moving, moving was not moving. So 
do some homework on that before you purchase that and then I'll update you guys and I'll let you guys know what's going on with the new one. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, the comment, subscribe, share, do it all. Yeah.